staff and lava. What do they have to do with each other? Let's find out. It's time for math mischief with Maya. This is Maya. She's always got her trusty soccer ball with her. Maya was bored. She had already read all the books and played all the board games at home. She looked at the window and saw a boy skateboarding. He was ollieing from bench to bench like the ground was lava. Maya thought it was pretty cool and was thinking about trying it herself when she dozed off into a daydream from her boredom. Welcome, dear girl, to the great land of math, said a mysterious voice. Suddenly, out popped a talking star. Whoa, who are you? asked Maya. My name is Sir Talking Star, exclaimed the star. Now listen, Maya, you're in great danger. The floor is lava! Wait a second, Maya thought to herself. That's just a game. The floor is never actually lava. But she looked down, and sure enough, the floor was bubbling, scalding hot lava. Uh-oh. But never fear, Maya, said Sir Talking Star. Here in the great land of math, we have a special mode of transportation. It's called floating rectangles, trademark. Maya looked down. She was standing on a floating rectangle, trademark, already, made of many tiny cubes. Hey, floating rectangle, trademark, screamed Maya. Take me over there to the other side of the lava floor. Unfortunately, Maya, it's not that simple, said Sir Talking Star, gravely. The floating rectangles, trademark, don't move, but they can replicate, and then you can hop from floating rectangle, trademark, to floating rectangle, trademark, until you get to the other side. There's only one condition. The floating rectangles, trademark, are very special, and they know they're special. They like being special. They like being unique, one of a kind. So they will replicate themselves, but only if you can reform their cubes into a different shape. But it still has to be a rectangle, otherwise it won't float, trademark. One more thing, Maya, continued Sir Talking Star. It looks to me like you'll need ten floating rectangles, trademark, to get across the lava floor. Good luck! And with that, Sir Talking Star just straight up vanished. Your turn. Can you get Maya across the lava? So here's what you need to do. You need to make ten different rectangles of different sizes that all use the same number of little squares. But it's too many squares to count. You have to do this whole problem without knowing how many total squares there are, also known as the area of the rectangle. You have to do the whole thing without actually knowing what the area is. Here's what you do know. The longer side is 48 squares long and the shorter side is 36 squares long. It looks like this. You count the, the length and the width because it doesn't take that long. But if you wanted to count all the squares in the middle, that would take a really long time. And the, you know, the floor is pretty hot. It is, it is lava after all. Uh, you're getting a little warm. You don't feel like doing all that counting. You figure maybe you can do this question a little bit faster without having to count all those little tiny squares. So uh, here's one idea. Here's what you could do. You could take this rectangle, you could chop it in half, right down the center. You could take the blue part, move it over here, and you could take the purple part and put it on top. So we've, we've reconfigured the rectangle into a different shape. It's still a rectangle. It still uh, uses the same number of little cubes inside here. Uh, still has the same total area, but it has different dimensions now. So the width is now half as wide as it was before. So half of 48 is 24. And the length is now double what it was before because we have two 36s together, which makes 72 in total. So the new dimensions, you divide 48 by two and you multiply 36 by two and it's 24 by 72. And so the conclusion is that if you do 24 times 72, you get the same answer as if you get as, as if you do 48 times 36, also known as the area of a 24 by 72 rectangle is the same as the area of a 48 by 36 rectangle. And you don't even need to know what the area is. You don't even know need to know the answer to the, either of these multiplications. Uh, but you can say for sure that they give the same answer, whatever it is. Okay, so it's your turn. We have two floating rectangles trademarked so far, uh, 48 by 36 and 24 by 72. Maya needs eight more to get across the lava. Um, and remember, you don't have to calculate. In fact, you shouldn't. I'm encouraging you not to calculate the total area of the rectangle. Get your answers by rearranging the rectangles you already know. 
And uh, don't just write down your answer, but also write down the strategy you used. For example, in, uh, previously we took 48 and divided it by two, and then at the same time took 36 and multiplied it by two. So that's showing the strategy is showing this division and this multiplication. And, you know, draw a diagram if it helps, like we did on the previous slide where we took this rectangle and split it up and uh, moved it around. If it helps you to do it that way, you can even make a rectangle out of paper and cut it up and reconfigure it yourself if you want to look at it in a more visual way. You can use colors if you want to make it prettier. Uh, you can use software, do it on the computer. It, if you know how to use graphics programs, and you can use that to move the rectangles around. Um, Okay, so pause the video here and try this question. See if you can get eight more rectangles. Here are the answers. There are actually 14 of them. This is in order, uh, one by 17, 28, and so on. I'm not gonna read them all out. Uh, and I'm not showing the strategy, but these are just uh, the answers. So if you got 10 of these, well, if you got eight more of them, plus the two we had from before, did you find 10? If so, we saved Maya. She made it all the way across with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 floating rectangles, trademark, and she still got her soccer ball. Does this actually have anything to do with lava? No. That's okay. It's fun to tell stories with math. It's more interesting that way, right? So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Now you know how to get over the lava floor. Uh, but uh, that, that is not everything because there is a worksheet for you to do to uh, practice the math concepts that we learned today. Practice is always important. Practice makes perfect. You can see the worksheet on the screen right here. You can also download it at the link in the video description. Um, it's also posted on the Rectangle website. And there are a variety of difficulty levels available on the worksheet, so you can pick whatever difficulty level you think you are at. I, uh, I think you should try, what, what is the hardest difficulty level you think you will actually be able to do? Go for that one. Don't go for something that you think is too easy for you. Challenge yourself. And there will be more videos coming out on this topic uh, later this week, so please stay tuned to this channel and we'll talk some more lava next time.